Hi, welcome to the walkthrough for Chapter 4, Fade In and Out. In this exercise, we learn how to make our lights fade gradually in and out. We also learn an easy way to control multiple lights at the same time, multi-threading. In the first exercise, we learn how to set the brightness of an LED to values that are not just on or off. Let's preview the set level example code. Don't forget to press and hold the Probe button until the light turns red before clicking Upload. In this example, the LED's brightness levels step up and down. Next, we learn how to make a smooth fading effect using a while loop. Let's preview the fade with while loop example code. The LED's brightness levels now change smoothly thanks to the while loop. Here's both effects side by side for comparison. The top uses stepping, while the bottom uses while loop fading. After the while loop lesson, we learn how to use multi-threading to control all the lights at once. Let's preview the basic multi-threading example code. All six LEDs are doing something different. Each LED runs an independent thread with its own setup and loop functions. It's like having six chibi chips in one. We'll also learn how to make a large scene using paper electronics. First, we remove pages 4-19 through 4-22. Then we mark where we want the lights to be. Using a knife or scissors, we cut out holes for the lights. Next, we remove pages 4-18 and 4-23. Stack page 4-20 over 4-18. Mark the spots for the lights through the holes we've cut. Do the same for the other page. Now we butt page 4-18 right against page 4-23 and sketch out our circuit. First, we draw the ground trace. We do this first because all the LEDs must eventually connect to the ground trace. Then we draw lines between the six signal pins of the chibi chip to the various spots that we want to place a chibi light. Don't worry if you have to cross wires or make T-junctions. We'll learn how to handle those shortly. Let's start laying down the copper tape. Start with the ground trace. Use a single strip to cross both pages. Now we start laying down the LED traces. Hmm, a ground trace has to cross over pin 1, but this could cause a short circuit. To prevent the short circuit, we take a piece of regular tape and cover up the crossing point. The ground trace is now safely crossing over pin 1. Now we have a T-junction on the ground trace. T-junctions need a patch of conductive fabric tape over them to make them reliable. Let's add another ground trace, using a T-junction and another fabric tape patch. Let's add our first LED and test our progress. Hooray! Our first LED lights up, meaning so far we're doing great! It's a good idea to test the circuit after adding each LED, especially for a complicated project like this one. Let's do another LED. First, we run the copper tape and then add a fabric tape patch over the T-junctions. Now we stick down the LED and test our progress again. Uh-oh, the LED's not lighting up. What could be wrong? We forgot to insulate a copper tape crossing with regular tape. No worries, it's easy to fix because we caught the bug early on. Just peel back the copper tape, paste on the regular tape, and reapply the copper tape. Voila! We've got two lights working! Here's another tip. As we fold the pages, the copper tape starts to crease and will eventually crack, causing the circuit to fail. 
To prevent this, we add a fabric patch over copper tape at the folding line to create a live hinge. Fabric tape patches can be folded many times without developing cracks. We continue adding LEDs until we end up with a circuit that looks something like this. We built the circuit using clear tape to insulate the crossover points. It's harder to check your work using clear tape, so it's better if you can use masking tape or washi tape for your crossover points. Let's clip on the chibi chip and see the whole thing lit up. Now we take our scene and lay it on top of the LEDs, taking care to line up the holes. Our scene was built by drawing characters, cutting them out, and pasting them over the holes using foam tape. The characters cover up the holes, while the height of the foam tape creates a more diffuse lighting effect. What a scintillating parade! Everyone is glowing and flashing! And that's it for the walkthrough of Chapter 4, Fade In and Out. 